A senior Ukraine's intelligence official has been sacked after revelations that investigative journalists had been wiretapped. The move comes after several instances of intimidation of Ukrainian investigative journalists surfaced in January. Now, the incidents led the Paris-based Press Freedom Group reporters without borders to call on authorities to investigate the alleged offences. Reporters without borders listed three cases that were exposed within a week. In one, staff at Beers.info, an outlet specialized in probing corruption found from a social media video, they had been subjected to filming and eavesdropping for months. Another case involved Odessa-based journalist Irina Hrib, who reported on grain exports in the region. She found a device in her car that could be used to listen to her phone calls or conversations with passengers and to track her movements. The third case involved Yuri Nikolov, an investigative reporter for the anti-corruption media outlet Nashi Roshi. Now, on January 14, 14th, masked individuals tried to force their way into his Kiev apartment. They threatened him with being forcibly enlisted to fight in the Ukrainian army against the Russian invasion. A source within Ukraine's SBU intelligence agency told news agency AFP that the head of the SBU State Protection Department, Roman Semenchenko, was fired as a result of the surveillance of BU's info staff. The President Vladimir Zelensky approved the decision to sack him by the head of the SBU. And earlier the intelligence agency said it had taken appropriate personal decision. However, it defended the surveillance because it claimed some BU's info employees were clients of drug traffickers. In January, BU's info, which called the surveillance shameful, said some of its staff consumed illegal substances during New Year. Numerous investigative outlets operate in Ukraine, which has enjoyed a far more vibrant media landscape than Russia.